to my channel. I hope you guys had a really good <laughs> holiday. I know I did. It was a lot of fun. Okay, Hi everybody, well welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving holiday. Before I get into it, my daughter's in the room and she's going to interrupt me like every second. But the video must go on. So if you hear a little voice on the side, she's right here. Here? Yeah. Yes, you're right there, huh? You say hi, everybody. Okay, now she's gonna be quiet. All right. Anyways, today's video is going to be my November favorites. November was a good month for some makeup that I really loved and continued to use throughout the whole month. Some of these products I have been using for longer than just November. I've been using them for a while, but I wanted to mention them because <clears throat> I wanted to mention them because I use a lot of the same products and sometimes in my videos you guys see that, but I, I know you see me apply it and everything, but I don't really elaborate on why I love it so much and why it works for me. So that is what this video is for today. So without further ado, I don't have too many favorites. Um, but I want to get into it, so just keep on watching. Alright, so the first favorite that I'm going to mention in this video is a brow product. This is a brow product I've been using literally every single time I do my makeup. I cannot live without it. I'm definitely going to repurchase this once I do run out because I actually got it in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago. And um, you've seen it in my videos millions of times. Um... This is the Brow Gal by Tonya Brooks Brow Powder. It's called the brow, Brown Hair Convertible Brow. Wet slash dry convertible powder and pomade duo. So you can use these powders both dry or wet. The color that I mainly use is this dark brown because as you can see, my roots are dark, dark, even though I am blonde. My blonde has it almost faded out, um, but you can really see it when it's straight, but as you can tell from the roots, I'm very dark brown haired girl, so that's why I use this color most of the time. You do have two lighter colors in case when I was a little bit more blonder, um, I can use those, and I mainly use them dry. Um, it's really good dry by itself. I'll see if I can swatch this for you. So this is the um, dark brown color with two swipes so it's kind of hard to tell for the two lighter colors but as you can see you can still see them Shh. as you can see you can still see them um, and I just really love this color especially I'm wearing it on my brows right now combined with the NYX um, brow pencil because the NYX one I got when I went to Walgreens they didn't have a dark brown color and so I had to get chocolate and I didn't realize how, like, it has a very dark red undertone. And so when I put it on, I'm like, okay, this does not match my hair at all. So with that brow pencil yeah. and this powder, it just makes for a very good combination for my brows. So this is really good. I haven't tried it wet, but I'm pretty sure it would be really, really good. And with this brow trio came this um, eyebrow pencil. It's just a duo end with a spoolie and a brush, and this is my favorite eyebrow pencil I've ever used. I I have always wanted to try the Anastasia number 12, but this one is so good. I cannot live without this either. If I don't have this when I'm doing my makeup, I kind of freak out because it has just like the perfect um, like width wise. It's really skinny, and it just works perfect for my now, brows. Now, so. the next product that I rediscovered and have been loving so much is a foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte in Poreless Foundation. I used to use this all the time like a year. I used to use this all the time like a year or two ago and I kind of forgot about it because I was trying out different foundations and I don't even know why I left it because it's such a good foundation. Even though it is a matte foundation, I feel like it's not too matte matte where it makes you look dry because I kind of have combination skin where it's oily but dry in some areas. And this foundation is just perfect. You don't need to set it. 
Um, it's not tacky. It just like lies on your skin so perfectly. This is the foundation I'm wearing on my face today. And the color that I use is 220 Natural Beige. It's like the perfect color for me right now. I'll probably need to go lighter since it's starting to um, be winter here where I live. And we're not going to get too much sun. But yeah, this one is really, really great. L'Oreal came out with a new mascara that I just had to try because not only by the packaging does it not resemble the Better Than Sex mascara, I just wanted to try it because of course it's way cheaper than the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, but I just had really great reviews on this and so I wanted to try it out for myself. The mascara I'm talking about is... The Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from Maybelline. It comes in this pink rose gold packaging. And I right now mine's a little almost gone. But it has a really good brush that just like coats your lashes just perfect. And ever since I started using this one, I haven't really used my Better Than Sex one. That one is still amazing, but this one's just a cheaper alternative that I think is really, really good. It's super black, makes your lashes super long and voluminous, just like how the name says. And I definitely would check this out if you're in the market for a good mascara that is drugstore. This one is really great, and I don't know. I have nothing bad to say. So the next product I have for my November favorites, I basically have been using every time I do my makeup as well. This is the Becca Shimmering Spring Perfector Pressed um, Highlighter in the color Prosecco Pop. A lot of you guys probably, if you have BoxyCharm, would have gotten this in your, I think it was November, yeah, November box. Um, it is such a pretty color. I already have this highlight in my Jaclyn Hill and, um, what is it? Jaclyn Hill palette that she did with Becca. I'll show you the one I'm talking about. It's this one here. This palette here. This one is already in here. Um, it comes with Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop in these, um, in this little palette here. But whenever I use this palette, I mainly kind of went for Champagne Pop just because, you know, I just have to try it. And it was really good. I love it. But when I got this in my November BoxyCharm, I really liked it. I feel like it's a really good tone for me since I'm a little darker. It just has like this golden reflex that is just so beautiful. And it's definitely... Yeah, as you can tell, it is very shimmery. Very, you know, in your face kind of highlight. But if you just like lightly put it on, it's like just the perfect amount of highlight for an everyday look. I'm wearing it on my face right now. And I just love it. And I like that it's just like a little compact in here because I can just travel with this if I need to instead of taking that big palette. Yeah, it's just a really good highlight. I think you guys should check it out. I don't know if, I, I don't think there's any more Jaclyn Hill palettes. Um, available, but I know they made that shade in specific to that palette, I believe. I might be wrong, but it's good that they came out with a single pan one, so you guys can all try it out. Now, speaking about Jaclyn Hill, you guys probably saw this coming. I wasn't going to make a favorites video with mentioning this product. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette that I absolutely love, love, love this palette so much. It is in pretty rough shape because I use it almost every day. But I'll show you the inside. I'm sure you guys saw it in my Jaclyn Hill tutorial that I did and also in the past couple videos that I've done because I can't stop using it. This palette is so good. There are so many colors, so many different looks you can do with this. Like. I don't even think I need any other palette except there's not really like any pinky well there is some pinky tones here but they're shimmers um but this palette itself is so good yeah this palette is just great it has so many different matte shades so many different shimmer shades duo chrome shades I just really love this palette. I use it almost, okay, I'm not going to lie. I use it basically every time I do my makeup because you can do bold looks. You can do warm looks. You can do natural looks. One thing that it doesn't have, though, is like a flat 
um, matte, sh like, like this, this color, like I wish this color was a matte shade, because right now it's like a shimmery shade, and I want something that I can just like put all over my lid when I first do my makeup, kind of, kind of like as a setting, um, shade when I put concealer on, but that's okay, because I can just use my powder to do that, so this palette has not let me down at all. It's in pretty rough shape, as you can see. I've used it quite a bit. I've used it, I've used it on other people. Anyways, I know she relaunched um, the, some of the packaging to not get so dirty so easily, which I think is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Kind of wish I could have gotten my hands on that one, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to get my hands on this really soon. I got it on the third restock. And I know now you can get this in Morphe stores. Mm -hmm. And some Sephora's, I believe, because they Morphe is now sold at Sephora, which is pretty great. Um, I don't know if they're on all Sephora's yet, but they do have a section now, and this palette is now like in part of the collection. It was supposed to be limited edition, that's why so many people grabbed it when they could, because they thought once these were gone, they were going to be gone forever. But it's pretty cool that they um, are sticking around. That way, for those of you who did not get it, can try it out. And fall in love with it just as much as I do. So, I love this baby. Now, I only have two more favorites, guys. So, don't worry. We're almost done. I have to include this palette as well. Because this is the Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY. And I've been using this a lot, too. Um, I basically use this to bronze and contour at the same time. I don't really use these highlight shades. Because, I don't know, I don't really like, like, pan highlights like this for some reason. I like my Laura Mercier more than I like to use these. But I might use these in the future. Um, but as for the contour shades, I love it. I feel like it kind of goes, I can use all of these colors depending on how tan I am or not. I really use this dark color to contour when I do. Because it kind of has, like, a deeper undertone. And I use these two to bronze up my face to warm it up and all of that. So I just had to mention this because I use it a lot. I've been using this, I think, longer than the month of November. So it's just a really good one. I also got this in my BoxyCharm, but I'm pretty sure you can find this anywhere. So this palette ranges from about, it's about $30 everywhere that I see on here. So it's not too bad. Um, it's, I think it's a really good contour palette for anybody because it has those different shades in it. Um, so I would definitely check it out if you guys are kind of looking into a contour palette. It is a little bit higher end, um, but this one's really good. Now, the last favorite I have is not makeup related, but I just had to mention it because... love to sing. It's one of my passions, but I'm a terrible singer. Anybody you ask will tell you that I cannot sing for the life of me, but I love to sing it, and I love to sing every moment I can, and my family can tell you that they don't enjoy it very much, but you know what? I enjoy it, and that's all that matters. Anyways, yeah, this is, was really affordable. It was only $10. I got it at Walmart. They have this color, like this rose gold color and then they also have a black one so you can get one for like a boy if you wanted to and basically it's bluetooth um operated you just turn on the power button here and you can yeah. connect it to your phone and that's basically what i've been doing let me just show you what how it works so you can get this um app it's called star maker and you can uh, pick a song to sing with karaoke and they have this little flap here where you can attach your phone so that way you can sing and read the words and kind of be all cool like that or you can also um, there's a little jack down here where you can hook it up to your phone through the aux cable here so let's say for some reason your bluetooth is not working you can still use it by attaching that to there so that's what i really love about this
I'm gonna see him in concert in May. Anyways, let's get on to it. Anyways, that's how that works. It's really, really loud, even just as a microphone. Um, I've been really enjoying just using this for my own personal use, but I also take it out to family events, um, to do karaoke battles and everything, and it's just really fun because none of us can sing, and it's just funny to see everybody try. So yeah, I really enjoyed that just because I have a huge family, and it's so much fun to do that at our family events. It just makes it so much more fun. Alright guys, so that is all my favorites for the month. I thought I was I was going to do some more non-beauty favorites, but I kind of wanted to keep the video kind of short this month. Let me know if you guys would be interested in any non-beauty favorites like favorite songs, favorite movies, favorite foods of the month. Because I love to eat, um, if you couldn't tell. Because I love to eat, it's just, I mean, who doesn't love to eat, right? Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope to have another video up soon. I believe I'm going to be um, getting my brother to do the Brother Does My Makeup Challenge or I'm going to do his makeup. Comment down below which one you guys rather see first. And also, make sure you guys turn on your notifications so that way you guys don't miss any videos that I post. I'm gonna get on the ball, guys. I know I said I would. Last week I did pretty good, or the week before. I posted two videos in one week, which was like a big achievement for me. So, alright, guys, I am done talking. So, I will see you guys in my next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye! Kiss. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Holiday. I know I did. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, mom well, y'all, I hope you guys all had a really good Thanksgiving holiday. The L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Parrot. Can't freaking Turk.